to Torah Talk Parshas B'Shalach. Yeah, for the question of the week. Shabbat Shirah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, the question of the week was how many Erev came out of Mitzrayim? So, the answer is found in Mechilta. Rabbi Shmuel says it was 1.2 million. What? Is it millions? Yeah, it's more than a small. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Rabbi Kiva says 2.4 million. Rabbi Nelson says 3.6 million. Oh, oh, the Kiva getting more and more. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of air, Rob. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so a, a very popular minnow we know, a minnow in Klai is that on Shavashiro we give the, set the chala crumbs in front of the birds, of course, right? Yeah. So. Um, first of all, just some Achvarnim actually are against this minhag. It starts with the Mogan Avram in Hilcha Shabbos in Simon Shin Chav Dalin. Simkan Zayin. He says that, the Mogan Avram says, there's a minhag that some people do, they put wheat in front of the birds on Shabbos Shiva. Um, he says, Ve'enoi nochon, shehari ein mizoi noison alecha. This is not a correct minhag because their mozart is not on you. So when you're doing that on Shabbos, um, it's actually also because you're doing an extra additional tircha. You're, you're going out and feeding them, even though they could get their and own food. They don't need right? you. Yeah, they don't need you to do it. So you're doing additional tircha, tircha zero. And Mishavu brings us. And he also the Yavitz is against it, and the Siddur Beis Yaakov. He also brings that minog, and then he says, Shitosu ve'isar. It's a minog shtos. And it's, it was also an Isra to do it. Okay, so, however, there are some that the other Achoinim that, that back up our, our Minog. Yeah. And they say the Aruch HaShulchan, he brings yeah, first the. Yeah. And Sifkot and Gimel, the Aruch HaShulchan, first he brings the one of Ram, but then he says, it seems to me that Minog Yisrael Taira. We know, Maimar Chazal, Minog Yisrael is a Taira. Any Minog of Yisrael is Taira. So it's actually not being a tircha yisera that's not for need because we're we're not being tareach for the birds we're not being tareach so that the birds have food we're actually doing it for ourselves it's for our own reasons because everyone knows the oifos said shira on the yam he says everyone knows that there's um, that that we know that the oifos said shira on the yam so so because of that um, so that's why we give it we give the the um, crumbs then. The wheat to them, and we're being tarech for ourselves, for our own thing, to remember it. The kavana is to remember the simcha, the shira, sayyam, um, that of us, and that's why we're doing it. So, um, <coughs> so the isra of doing additional tircha won't apply. We're not doing it for them. And it also brings a Tarseva Shalis. He says that it's a different reason why it's mutta to do this minog. Because the Shei Mitzvah, it doesn't matter if it's, a, if it's additional Turcha, if it's a Shei Mitzvah, we're doing it because of our Mitzvah. We do it. We're not just like doing additional thing. Yeah, then Yeah. Yeah. And then also, um, on that side, also is a Sefer Shar Beis Rabin. It's a Sefer that goes on Chumash Barashas. So in Parshish Barashas he says that the Minog, <coughs> the Minog, now we put, put wheat in front of the birds of Shabbat Shiro. So th- even though the Mogan Avram says that's not right, and the Yaivet says that the Minog Shtutz, even though he says, I say that we know the Mimer, everyone knows the Mimer and the Gemara, that says, Minog Minhagon Shel Yisrael Tayrahim. So even though a Minog of Yisrael isn't from the Iker Mitzvah, it's not actually a Mitzvah, just what Yisrael do, it's really tied from a chain of many generations to generation. It's really, and you never even, you never know, it might even come back up to Moshe Rabbeinu. The, every single minog of Yisrael is from generation to generation, so it's actually like a real Torah. So, um, and then he, he gives a reason, he gives a reason for this minog. So we know the Aruch reasons reason is because the, the if I said, Shira uh, yeah. So he gives a different reason, it's because, based on what the Alshuk says in parts of Shalach, that when it says, Kach, um, um, es achas. Hashem tells Moshe to take one jar, and so for all the generations to know about for the mon, take one jar of the mon and fill it up. So that was to show that all generations that they get mezonos from Hashem if they once they trust in Hashem, just like the Dharma Midbar. 
since they believed in Hashem, that's why they just got their mezonos coming straight out of the Shemayim, just mon. But then once the base of English got destroyed, the Tzloichus Shalmon, that jar of the mon, it got hidden. Now we don't have it. Nowadays, we don't have that jar of the mon. It used to be kept actually inside the Aron. Yeah. Well, inside the Kodesh HaKadoshim. It was one of the few things besides for the Aron that was kept there. There was like the stick of Aron, you know, stick of Aron by the... Um, and then um, they, they had a few things, but one of the things they had a jar of mon, but now since the base of got destroyed, we don't know where it is. So, so now, we don't have any, we don't have a remez, we don't have that jar to show us, to pr- show us that, um, th- that anyone who, who trusts in Hashem and follows in the ways of Hashem will get his mazar. So, rather, what we do is we have a minog, that on the parsha that we read, the, on, the, on the week that we read the parsha of the mon, which is parsha of Shalach, on that week, we throw those grains to the birds. To show that if Yisrael, which are compared to the birds, you know, Yisrael compared to a bird or a dove. So if Yisrael are Kaveh Eden for Torah or Isaac in the mitzvahs, then they'll get their muslin just like birds, because birds easily get their muslin. If birds fly from roof to roof, chatzor to chatzor, they just fly around getting their muslin. It's so easy for birds to get their food. So if Yisrael, which are compared to birds, if Isaac in the Torah, then they'll get their muslin from Hashem without any pain. This is really coming from the Or Pnei Moshe. By the Chassam Seifer and that Seifer and the Torah, mm-hmm. and just one more, okay. just to end off with one more reason given. We know, of course, the famous reason Dustin and Aviram, um, Dustin and Aviram were trying to um, show that the Nevuah of Moshe isn't right. So they to, to show that even on Shabbos, the Mon will come. So that, so that when they they gathered the Mon from Friday, and they set out on Shabbos and wanted to show everyone, oh look, Mon is coming on Shabbos, but then the birds overnight. Before the next morning, the birds all ate it up. So to thank the birds, we give them the grains. That's also a different reason. But then there's another reason. Time to and Yanim Shoinim Salites. That is an interesting reason. <clears throat> if you think about it, there's nothing as eerie as birds. Nothing as floaty and eerie as Their birds. Their bones are hollow. And that's how they fly. Yeah. So they fly because they just fly around in the air. They're, they're the most eerie thing, birds. And also zemer, music, comes from the ear. And he says, musical instruments only play with the ear. That's how music is formed. That's how music is, from the ear. He says, a fiddle and a cymbal, these are examples that he gives. All these are hollow. Look, a guitar, it's hollow. If if a guitar wasn't hollow, it wouldn't make any noise. Anything. Every single musical instrument, a drum, they all use ear, and the ear makes the music. And he also says that anyone who has big lungs, he'll know to sing good because the lungs are filled with air. So then he could sing all good if he has big, puffed up lungs. So that is the reason why that's a connection of the birds and the Shalach, which has in it the Shira, Shabbat Shira. He also says that's also the reason why the Shira in the, in the Sefer Torah is written interestingly. It's a reach al gabi levena. It's like brick on top of a different brick. A wider brick, a thinner brick, a wider brick. So why is it like that? So that will have lots of ear in between. Oh. Like zemer and shira that comes from the ear. Just like birds. And that's why we give the chalakrons to the birds. Hmm. Okay, so what's the question of the week? The question of this week is, <coughs> which posok? Um... The Pasuk is found in Torah, Nevi'im, and Ksuvim. The one in Torah, we say it every day. And the one that's in Nevi'im, we say that once a week. The one that's in Ksuvim, we say it once a month. Except the one in Nevi'im has a, one additional word added to that Pasuk. But otherwise, it's the same Pasuk in Torah, Nevi'im, and Ksuvim. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for listening to Torah Talk, Parsha Vashach.